Hi everyone, how are you all? Welcome to Ishwari Tanisha channel and this is Ishwari ma'am. So students in this video we are going to solve physics sample paper which is re officially released from Karnataka board. Students last video I have uploaded uh, maths question paper answers as well as for chemistry. So in this video we are going to solve physics paper. So students I hope all are ready to solve physics paper. Isn't it? So come on let's start the video. So this is the first question. Uh, students, you know that first main will be a multiple choice question. So first question here is the diameter of the reflecting surface of spherical mirror is. So four options are given. Optical center. B is center of curvature. C is aperture. So aperture will be the correct answer. So answer will be C. Okay, so aperture will be the correct answer for first one. Next question. An electric motor takes 5 a ampere from 220 volt electric source. So this is a, a numerical. So we should solve and find the answer for that. So students, what you do is first write what is given in the question. So that it will be easy for you to substitute in the formula. So let's uh, write what is given. Given. So what is given in the question? Phi ampere of current. So current is I. I is equal to phi ampere. And then 220 voltage of electric source. So voltage is given as 220. So what you should calculate here? So you should calculate the power of the motor. So that is P is equal to question mark. So you should calculate the power. So students you know formula to calculate power is P is equal to V into I. So substitute now what is V? V is 220 volt into what is I? I is 5 ampere. So multiply this you will be getting 1100 watt. So this will be the answer. So see the options here. So the first option is 1100 watt. So first option will be the correct one. We will move on to the next one. If the focal uh, length of a spherical mirror is 15 centimeter, find the radius of the curvature. So even this is a simple numerical. So this is for one mark question. So what they have given first write what is given in the question. So given. They have given the focal length of the spherical mirror is 15 centimeter. That is F is given as 15 centimeter. So what you should find out radius r is equal to question mark. So students here you have a very simple formula to calculate the radius. That is r is equal to 2 into f. So this is equal to 2 into f is 15. So 2 into 15 is 30. So 30 centimeter. So answer will be radius is equal to 30 centimeter. We will move on to the next one. Mention any two disadvantages of fossil fuels. So students here uh, two disadvantages I, so I have given. So you can quickly note what is given here. Fossil fuels are non-renewable source of energy. Second is the oxides of carbon, nitrogen and sulfur that are released on burning of fossil fuel are acidic oxides. So what they will do is they will cause the rain to be acidic and it causes acid rain. So make a note of this. Fifth question. So what is a electric circuit? Uh, students, a simple definition you should write for what is an electric circuit. This is for one mark. A continuous and closed path of electric current is called as electric circuit. Next one. Answer the following. This is a two mark question. How does overloading and short circuit occur in an electric circuit? Explain what is the function of the fuse during this situation. So students, you can pause and start noting down the points here. Okay, you should uh, write how overloading and short circuit occur in a uh, electric circuit. So students, you know that how overloading will occur. That is when a live wire and a neutral wire comes into direct contact with each other, uh, overloading will take place. There is one more possibility that if too many appliances are connected to the same socket, then overloading can take place. So overloading will lead to short circuit. So how to prevent this short, short circuit? So you will be using a fuse. So here you can see 
Uh, fuse will prevent electrical appliances from damage by melting. So you know that fuse will be having a very uh, low melting point. It will start uh, melting and it will break the circuit. As a result, current will not flow through it so that it can prevent the damage of the appliances connected. So you can uh, make a pause of, pause of the video here and note down these points. Next question. Draw the schematic diagram of the biogas. So this is the schematic diagram of the biogas. So you can practice this one or two times. So this is a very simple diagram. You will be able to do this. Next one. An electric lamp whose resistance is 40 ohms. So a numerical is given. So let's solve this numerical. So first let us write what is given here. So given. So what is given? An electric lamp whose resistance is 40 ohms and conductor of 8 ohm resistance are connected in series. So let us make a circuit diagram here. So a lamp is connected. So here this is the lamp. This is connected with a conductor. So this is the circuit. So here they have given the resistance of the lamp is 40 ohms and the conductor is 8 ohms. Okay. Then the voltage of the battery is given as 12 volt. So voltage of the battery is 12 volt. So what you should calculate now, calculate the total resistance of the circuit and uh, the current flowing through the circuit. So two things you need to calculate here. So what is that? Total resistance R is equal to question mark and you should calculate the total current. So current is I. So I is equal to question mark. So students here you need to calculate two things. One is the resistance another is the current. So first let us calculate the resistance. So students you know that if the resistors are connected in series we have a formula RS is equal to two resistances R1 plus R2. The two resistance which are connected in series you need to add. So here the first resistance is 40 ohms plus second will be 8. So 40 plus 8 will be 48 ohms. So total resistance will be 48 ohms. So now next we will calculate current. So you have a formula ohms formula that is V is equal to I into R. So I will be equal to V divided by R. So this will be equal to what is V here? Voltage is given as 12. So 12 divided by R is 48. So 12 ones are 12. 12 fours are 48. So 1 by 4. So if you cancel this, you will be getting 0 0.25. So ampere. Current will be ampere. So 0 0.25, the value of I will be 0 0.25 and resistance will be 48 ohms. So this will be the answer for 8th question. Then ninth one, draw the ray diagram of the image formed when the object is kept beyond 2F2. So students here, uh, you need to draw this diagram. See here the object, this is the object. So this is the object. So this is object which is placed beyond 2F2. So see here, this is 2F2. The object is placed beyond 2F2 of the convex lens. With the help of the diagram, mention the position and nature of the image formed. So where is the image formed in this uh, ray diagram? So see here, this is the image formed AB. A dash, B dash. So the image will be formed here. So with the help of the diagram, mention the position and nature of the image formed. So here the image will be formed between F2 and 2F2. So you should write this. So the image is formed between F2 and 2F2. So next question is what is the nature of the image formed? So the nature of the image will be real and inverted. So you should draw the diagram and write these two points. So the first point is image is formed between F2 and 2F2 and nature of the image is real and inverted. So this much if you write, you will be getting full marks. Next question, 10th one. So this is an option question. So ninth question, you have 
two options either you can write that or this question so this is also a ray diagram so draw the ray diagram in the image form the object object is kept behind c of the concave mirror so this is a concave mirror so here you can see the object is placed beyond c so you can see here this is c so beyond c so object is placed here this is the object so this is the object placed so with the help of the diagram mention the position and nature of the image formed so what is the position of the image here so this is the image okay so this is the position of the image and what is the nature of the image formed here the nature of the image is real inverted and see the size of the image here see the image here the object is very big compared to that of the image the image is very small so you will write it as diminished okay so real inverted and diminished next question uh, what is electric potential difference what is si unit and name the device used so three things they have asked here that is first is definition of potential difference second is si unit third is the device used to measure potential difference so each one one mark so first first is definition the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge from one point to another so this is the definition you should write si unit is old and then device is old meter so one mark for each next 11th question an object is kept at a distance of 30 cm from a diverging lens of focal length so here they have given u as minus 30 cm and f focal length as minus 15 cm so you need to calculate here v what is the uh, distance of the image formed from the lens and find the magnification so you should uh, find what is v and what is m so m is nothing but magnification of the image so you will be using this formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u so now shift 1 minus 1 by u to the other side so you will be getting 1 by so 1 by f plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by v so what you are doing is you are shifting this minus 1 by u to the other side now substitute the value 1 by 1 by f is minus 15 plus 1 by u is minus 30 is equal to 1 by v so now take lcm lcm will be 30 so negative sign take to the numerator minus so 15 twos are 30 so 2 minus uh, 30 ones are 30 so this is equal to 1 by v so next step so you will be getting here minus 3 by 30 is equal to 1 by v so you can write 3 ones are 3 tens are 30 so minus 1 by 10 is equal to 1 by v so you can write this as v is equal to minus 10 cm okay so this is about v next is magnification so you should calculate magnification so you know the formula m is equal to v by u so what is v minus 10 cm divided by u is minus 30 cm minus and minus will get cancelled 10 ones are 10 threes are 30 so m value will be plus 1 by 3 okay so magnification value will be plus 1 by 3 so we'll move on to the next one and so the following questions explain faraday's experiment of magnet uh, and coil state electromagnetic is induction with the help of the diagram so students you should draw this diagram and explain the experiment so you know the experiment here so here there is a conductor and there is a magnet so whenever you are taking the magnet inside the coil you can see Uh, the deflection in the galvanometer that is when the magnet is moving in this direction there, there will be deflection in the galvanometer in this direction okay so next what you do is magnet you remove outside that is move in the opposite direction then what happens is current will move in the opposite direction the deflection will be in the opposite direction so suppose if you are keeping the coil and the magnet still without moving then there is no deflection in the 
galvanometer okay that is the experiment so write the experiment with the diagram and also you should write the statement of electromagnetic induction so it will be for four marks next one or question state the fleming's right hand rule and how can we increase the amount of electric uh, current produced in the uh, electric generator write any two differences between them okay so the uh, fleming's right hand rule you have to write the definition so after the definition how to increase the amount of current so possibility is first is increase the number of turnings second is the strength of the magnetic field should be increased so what is the difference between electric generator and a electric motor so these two differences you can write a de uh, electric generator is a device okay which converts mechanical energy to electrical energy and electric motor is a, ele a device which converts electric energy to mechanical energy and then uh, electric generator works on the principle of fleming's right hand rule whereas here electric motor it works on the principle of fleming's left hand rule so if you write this much you will be getting full marks next question list the uses of convex and concave mirror so uh, uses of both the mirror you can write so concave mirror uh, one use you can write and convex mirror and then uh, define principal focus and radius of curvature so principal focus definition a number of rays parallel to the principal axis meeting at a point on a principal axis of the mirror is called principal focus and then write the definition of radius of curvature so the radius of curvature of which the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror forms a part is called as radius of curvature of the mirror so you need to write this much okay so uh, students if you are able to do this much you will be getting full marks so students always try to practice this one or two times so pause the video uh, note down all these points okay one or two times to practice this before your examination so it will be very useful to you so students i hope the concepts are clear and you got all the points so still if you have any queries regarding this you can write in the comment box and uh, i'll meet you in the next video students with uh, i think biology paper i'll solve in the next video bye bye